Hey, it's Joel. Recently, we featured an episode where we talked about practical printing projects that I've done and what has succeeded, what has failed. Well, the one that failed, we're actually have an update on that. Plus, we're talking about this machine which can do high temp materials. This is an Ultim Benchy, and I'm told it might be able to survive being driven over by a car. Let's talk about this, and then maybe let's do this right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Hey, welcome back. Before we get into these, I do want to talk about this Benchy and the significance it holds. This is an Ultim Benchy. Yeah, this is PEI. This is Ultim 1010, and this was given to me by Vision Miner. We were recently down visiting Vision Miner and, and having a bunch of fun. And I got to learn a lot more about these high temp materials such as Ultim and Peak. And what's great, and what I discovered, Ultim, when approached by fire, survives incredibly well. In fact, it beats PLA hands down. We had a lot of fun there. But when I was given this Benchy here, I was, I was told, I was like, Joel, this is dried Ultim. This Benchy could probably be safe when driven over by a car. And uh, I don't know, I mean, we have a car. Let's go try it. Like, is this, is this a bad idea? <laughs> yes, but that's why it's a good idea. Ready? Yeah. I heard something. <laughs> well, there's pieces. Do you see that? Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Okay, so the roof sheared off. Uh, you want to oh, yeah. Up? Yeah, look at that. It's just gone. You want to drive over this? Sure. Okay. That should survive. I'm, I've just turned it upside down to, I don't know, be easy to roll over. It shouldn't shoot out. There you go. Okay. That's actually not bad. Well, I guess now we got to find out if a PLA Benji would survive in the same way. You got any of those laying around? No. Next time. Okay. Well, that was fun and somewhat eventful. We were able to put this Benchy under the tire a few times. First time, of course, the, the top kind of shattered, spit out. I don't know, Sean saw it. What did it do? Popped. It just it popped. It popped. It popped. But then after the pop, we were able to put this under it upside down and the car rolled over it just fine. I think we might need to do some filament tests where we print some benchies and then roll over them with the car. I guess if you want to see that, you let me know down in the comments, but enough about this. It's a satisfying noise, isn't it? We're going to talk about this. This is a model by someone who watched my practical printing video and said, you know what? I'm going to fix those tripod leg extensions for you. This person goes by Max Dark Dog on Thingiverse. That's a fantastic name. This person said it actually uses the same hardware you used before, so please print this. And you know what? That's a great idea. So I did. I printed three of them, and I did it on the FunMat HT Enhanced. Of course, I'm moving this over to the high temp stuff, but before I did, I had the 3DX Tech ASA filament already loaded. As we know, ASA is much like ABS in the way it prints, but it is resistive. Resistive? Resistant? It resists UV, which is what the sun gives us, albeit not as much here in the Pacific Northwest. So, so ABS-like qualities, this isn't really gonna be seen outside, but it turned out great. This machine, when printing these filaments, it's almost like using a cheat code because it adheres to the bed well. I'm using the Vision Miner nanopolymer and the chamber is heated and it allows for the material to be laid down in the best way possible. These look great, but now it's time for us to take them to the office and give them a test and see if the hardware fits, if the tripod legs fit, and if we can actually sturdy up that tripod and keep that camera from falling down. I'll see you at the office. Here we are, we're in the studio and I've got new parts. I've got old, sad, broken parts and I've got the tripod that we're trying to modify. We just need to verify the clearances of this part because we've got screws that go in it, we have nuts that go in it and we have tripod leg and PVC pipe that go in it. So to start, I think it's important to loosen this because we're gonna take the foot off and verify that the tripod, tripod? The tripod leg goes in. I don't know, what's a tripod? Leave your comment down below. And perfect. It's got a little stopper down below, so they all go to a certain uh, certain spot and then just stop. That's good. Okay, we verified that. 
Now let's make sure the PVC fits on the other side. Excellent. Look at that. This is turning out to be uh, awesome. Oops. Last but not least, do the screws fit through the holes? Yes, they do. One last bit of verification is to make sure that that nut goes where it needs to go. Okay, it fits. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit oversized. Okay, that's fine. That is okay. It's not undersized, so we don't have to modify the plastic in any way. It's oversized. We just need to hold the nut while we're tightening the screw. And we should be good to go. Get back up there. This is now set to go. Let's get the tripod modified, and then let's make Sean's day a little bit better because it'll be a for Normally, when the tripod is up and Sean is recording, because I'm taller, and because the desk is taller, we need to have the tripod up taller and I could buy a new tripod or I could just do this. And when a $2,500 Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K is on top of it, any little hit and it goes over. So that's why we're modifying the tripod. Plus, it's cool to use 3D printing. What do you think, eight inches? We've got everything installed, and one of the things that was interesting, I found out, these still rotate, even though I tightened it down all the way. They do hold on pretty good, and a tripod, obviously, in this configuration is going to sit, and so it's better to have compression than being able to hold against that. If we move the tripod and they fall off, that's one of the things. I may have to make new things, or put a shim in there, or something, but, Man, I don't know what happened. But regardless, we've got it together. And if I bring the tripod out like that, and there we go. We actually have a functioning tripod with some legs that go down a little bit further, which then allow us to have the camera up higher, which is great because I'm told I'm tall and this desk is tall and we just, we just need it there. So let's get it down on the ground. Let's get it tested out. And then, uh, I don't know, let's see what happens. Hey, Sean. Hi. So, uh, I'm running the camera right now. I I'm terrible, that. but there's Sean. Here's me. There we go. Yeah. And then put it down all the way. Perfect. Look at, people are getting a little behind the scenes here. It's gonna take up more space, it but is. it's gonna be a lot more sturdy. Wow. Wow. That's tall. Oh, <laughs> that is tall. Wow, I think eight inches was too much. <laughs> so it's too tall? Uh, it's a little too tall, but that's what, what, it's fine because we can just, you know, drop it down a little bit. Yeah, we can lower the legs. Yeah. Okay. So not a big deal. Right about there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tighten up those legs. What are you doing up there? Uh, we're just going to adjust this so it's level. It's a great reason to have a ball head. Okay. Well, I'm going to hand this to you. Great. How do we look? Out of focus. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a little that level <laughs> but that, we can take care of that yes. don't worry about that but the height the height the, is the good height, the height is great the as height, far as seeing everything yeah, and being height, able to see me and the height is great what's great about the height is that it's at now you're just about eye level which is where you want to shoot typically for this kind of okay size. I, I level or a little below cool yeah. cool well this is great though because now in our new space right here we have a taller tripod we spent very little money because the filament itself costs way less than a new tripod that can go that tall and using a little bit of hardware from the hardware store and a very friendly helping hand from one of you out there we made this possible so thanks for watching this practical printing episode i hope you like it because i really enjoy these and if you want to see more leave a comment down below with something i should attempt or try. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you all. And as always, from right up here, high five.